Hello, this is Titans Beats, and today I'm doing mission 8 for the Halo 3 ODST No Death Legionary playthrough. I got the score on Legionary, the Iron Skull, and the Grump Birthday Party. Let's just say this mission is very tough. Um, I pretty much got to the end of this whole highway part, but uh, Fuel got me, and I jumped out. And that was, like, I just got out of time, and then I, I, I decided to jump back in, and then that was as it shot, it shot as I was jumping back in, and I did not have enough time, and it just hit again, and it killed me. It's very sad, but... Captain, how about you hang back? Let I'm us getting better back. with this level. Agreed. I'll stay with the asset, give it close Sort cover. of got away on just doing the starting area, and it works a lot of the time. Most of the time. Fuck, that turret has us pinned. We can't advance. Flank the watchtower, Super. Take it out. Well, I like... I like to kill that grunt. He's going to be the main problem. You going, Jekyll? So now I'm going to, um, so after you kill that first grunt, because if I try and run up straight like I've seen someone do, I always get killed, or I lose a lot of my health, and don't really want to lose my health that much. So now what you can do, there is med packs there, there's like literally two there anyway, and you could actually go back over, way over there and get those med kits, that'd work as well. But what I like to do now is to go grab the RPGs. Am I going too far, or... I don't think I am. Nope, it's right there. Ah, uh, not exactly what I had in mind, but okay. Alright, Buck. You wanna, you, wanna, you wanna help me out? For once? In your life? Great. Um... I like just to keep the rock launcher with me for a minute. Like, as long as I give the, uh... Give it to that girl character um, within like having one bullet left. I should be fine before we go into the uh, area, which I won't be really using the rock launcher unless I'm in a bad situation, which I shouldn't need it because I've got a sniper rifle right here with 17 bullets. And Buck's going to be doing a job as I'm actually walking up there. He'll be dealing with them all. <sighs> There's no escape from Buck when he's got an RPG. I just... That's it. There's no escape. Even though he's not that helpful on the Warhog with that like he is now. He was like that, and he just he sort of acted a bit like the Halo 2 allies sometimes, like the Marines in general. Um, that'd be awesome, because... Thanks. Oh, I don't want that. Uh... Gonna give Buck the sniper rifle, because it, I reckon the sniper rifle is just the best, even though... It's only for like in case he jumps it like you get kicked out of the um all the shooting it's frightened vehicle in a way like if it tips over from grunts shoot uh, throwing grenades and all that it's very hard to remember exactly each wave of what sort of what's in each wave it's gonna take a bit of time I think of in like multiple times on attempting it before I sort of know what every exact part is for each exact wave but I've got a idea. I don't actually know how many waves there is, but I think I got to the end. I'm pretty sure, like, around when the Scarab's coming, I think that's around the, like, last sort of... Trooper, Oops, protect the engineer. Mean to do that. Tight. Did not we'll mean to do that. To just hitting it to make it faster. Alright, so I'm going to skip this cut cutscene. He should be in the gun straight away, and I'm going to drive way ahead of the um our teammate hey uh captain pick a lane 
You gotta be kidding me! I think the best I can. Just stay out of our way! Straight ahead! Hostile! Watch it! Fudge, fudge, fudge. Pure odd. Killed me last time. Gonna... I'm gonna think about staying behind it. Keep it steady! Covenant must have shut these doors. Give the engineer a second to override the lock. Alright, Buck. You do your part. He also will shoot at dead bodies after he's killed them, like, for like another three or four seconds. It's very frustrating. See, it's dead and it's still shooting at it. Don't know why. He like acts if like grunts are like sort of, yeah, what I need actually. Uh, is that fuel rod? I seriously hope it hasn't despawned because it's gonna wreck my whole plan. Uh, Alright, so you wanna get hey, Buck, hey, but you afraid. also wanna jump back this in the passenger the seat, passenger, so he jumps in the gunner. If you don't, he'll jump into the lie. passenger seat and you don't want that. Seriously, he's useless like that. Alright, so this second one is pretty much just grunts and brutes. Pretty pretty easy, really. Um, checking my rocket launcher. Ahead. Um, with the jackals, you can sort of like just try and run them over. Shouldn't take too long. Hopefully, sometimes it can actually make your vehicle flip over by hitting a jackal. I don't get it, but it just happens. But now I'm going to be staying behind... Uh, the grunts, uh, not the grunt, the uh, vehicle and killing all the grunts and stuff. But, oh, we got, we didn't get stuck, that was lucky. No, oh, I don't want to do that. Fudge. I hope I didn't uh, sort of make the mission carry on, I'm really hoping I didn't. Why can't I seem to kill him? Am I going to trigger the uh, next area? Awesome. Alright, so the next one. I like to have him in the back. So you're going to have to jump in the passenger again. He'll never ever drive. So whatever one you sit in, he'll, he'll go on the opposite the one that you sort of want. Just sit in the one that you don't want him to sit in, and then he'll go on the opposite. I'm driving back to get a med kit so I don't have to jump out there and I can sort of just be all ready and for the next area. The next area's got drones and stuff, it's going to be a bit tough, but I've also got to make sure my rocket launch is loaded, and I might even go and get those bullets there before this door closes. So when the next door opens, this door closes, and it, it really only lets you, um sort of have one back area open to go back and see what you can get from there but oh and I need to also make sure my rocket launcher is out so I can jump out and rocket launcher the turret areas like the areas where all the grunts of the fuel rods are so the first one and the third one I believe are the ones that you have to deal with So we did wave two, so we are wave three, and this has got drones. Up, up, up. No, no, no. 
All right, jumping buck. Hurry yourself. Not exactly what I had in mind, but okay. Heads up, Fancy. All right. Um. Another cruiser. Maybe it wasn't that one. Maybe it's this next one. So now that all the grunts and stuff are dead, I can literally come up to this point up here, have Buck shooting a fuel rod. I guess that actually probably does work a little bit better in your favour. So then you can jump in the turret yourself. You could also um shoot a oh god. You could probably shoot the rocket launcher up top area to kill a couple of them early, but... Alright. So, that's that. I'm gonna take fuel rod for my pistol because that's the really the only thing that's really going to help me now. I'm also going to go back for a mid kit from the old area. I'm hoping I can get 25 from that. No, nope, 20, but I will be able to get 25 from the next um, thing that I destroyed. So it's not that one, it's the first one. Which I thought it, I always thought it was the second one. Like, I thought it was this one here that was the one that you had to destroy. But that wasn't the case. See, I'm going to go see if that rock launcher is back in the other area really quick. But I think that the doors lock afterwards. Like, when you've sort of gone to the third wave, the first wave's door will be locked for the outside area. See, that should be open, but it's not. And in the floor over, like, past there, there was the um, RPG I could have had. Alright, so this next one, um, you want him on the back, Gunner. Concentrate on driving. I got this. And you're hoping to go that you don't uh, get flip, you flip your uh, Warhog, because you're not going to be able to sit in the passenger seat and get him into the Gunner. That's the only pain, pain really, for the next area. When did, oh, I was going to say, when did that open? I forgot, I, I went back. <laughs> Thought um the next part opened up, but I forgot I like went all the way back. I didn't just go back one floor. I just seen her like way ahead. And I was like, wait, what's happened? But I forgot. But yeah, it won't really go until you are uh, past a certain line. I think this line here, and then like past the actual inside area, and then you're good to go. But now I like to stay behind her because she's a lot better taking all the damage than not than, than uh, me taking the damage. And it's pretty much just a bunch of grunts and stuff, really. The next area is a bit more tough and different, more tough. you got to stay close to her so she doesn't take all the fire, but you don't want to take much of the fire. Got to watch out for grenades, though. Grenades and grunts. Serious killers. Just got to keep moving around. Give me an angle. <laughs> Keep her steady. Shoot that grunt buck. One that's gonna throw a grenade at us. And that one. Oh crap. Alright, we're looking pretty good for um, 
the grunts in front that could be attacking the thing that we're defending. Stay on target. So this pr pretty much works because of that dies and you have to go back to a checkpoint with the iron skull it makes you restart the whole level if she dies so i like to kill everything from behind the only thing that i might not take out is a wraith at a certain point because the race slow and it really doesn't do too much damage to the um to the like elephant thing i think it's an elephant or well, it's not as big it's it's close though it's really close it's the same thing i forgot Oh god. Um, jump in the passenger, sir. Quickly, Buck. Hurry yourself. Oh god. This one has got a lot of ghosts. I think. And that way you won't accidentally kick him out of the gunner or anything. Lol. Shoot him, fuck. Come on. Get yourself together. Oh, I don't want to go past that door line, really. You can actually jump out at this point, like jump out of the ghosts, oh not ghosts, jump out of the warhog and sort of use the warhog for cover because Buck's actually invincible while he's in the warhog. So you just use it for cover. It's not like the ghosts have rockets. So you can just use it. Okay, this next part. Um, oh god, I forgot. He's going to jump back in the passenger because um, he won't jump in the gunner if he's got that gun. But if you go in the passenger, then he 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 will never ever drive. So just remember that. I might also uh. Oh wait, I think this is the Gar Garsh Warhog. So, um, how this works is Buck. Same deal, Trooper. It shouldn't start until Buck gets in it, but it did happen last. God, damn it, Buck! No time for this. All right. We've got, so normally, yeah, he has to jump in the gunner, but last time he was, he didn't even jump in, and it just started without him jumping in, because he's just being useless. Good aim. Great aim, sir. Amazing. It's the best. This is sort of the same. You just want to stay behind everything. Buck should take out a lot of these pretty easily. Three hits, I think, for ghosts. Sometimes two, though. If they get in the, in the weak spot, as in hitting the brute, I think. But I really want to take out. Keep it steady. That's up, rookie. The captain's in trouble. I'm gonna take out these ghosts. Oh god. I have them in my sight. Get that banshee. That should get. Oh god. Here she goes. Alright, I'm going to go back and get medkit. I'm just making sure there's nothing attacking her. Because I'll kill them. If they are. I always like to come to the old area and get a med kit that way. Or like a health pack, pretty much, just because if you get it from that area, it's going to start. And I sort of like to be in my vehicle as the doors started to open. 
case something stupid like that happens and you fall out. But. Alright, now I don't think it's too bad. I think this is the part that you're going to get the tank, I believe. So you just want to stay behind this. Because that can take a lot of damage. The actually, the most threat of a thing that can actually be a weapon is um, plasma, which plasma pistols, a bunch of them. Right, so yeah, this is definitely the part where you get the tank. Not the wraith. Attack everything else other than the wraith. We don't need to even worry about the wraith. Sir. No, I'm not. You know what I'm going to do? Screw it. I'm going to just go straight for the tank. And that wraith's going to get me, I can tell. I sort of need to stay behind this thing. Stupid banshee. Oh god. Not this again. No, I missed a few rods. It killed me last time. Literally. Where is it? Alright, I think it's the wraith, but there is actually a few rod that kills me. Not this thing. I killed this pretty fast. Oh, I'm stuck. Gotta kill that turret really fast, because that thing's going to kill it more than anything else. It's constantly doing damage. God damn, I can't seem to get a shot on any banshees that is flying around everywhere and somewhere where I don't oh god I'm gonna get I'm gonna get hurt I can tell it I can tell alright well not really what I had in mind really but now there's gonna be phantoms coming um, I like to kill all the phantoms to make the next area a lot easier Carrier, 10 o'clock high. At the size of that thing. Heads up, Banshee. But anything like the the phantoms is all your problems. Like you don't actually need to worry about protecting this thing at all. Yeah. This is just going to make the next area so much easier. And oh my god, I think I've killed all four, but I'm going to wait a little bit. I think I killed all four. I really hope so. But I am getting a lot, lot better at this mission in general. Now that I've been playing it multiple times in attempts. So this next area is where I got up to. This is the furthest part I've been up to. And I got killed by a fuel rod brute. So... It wasn't exactly hard to avoid as such, like I could have just stayed a little bit back, which I should be staying back behind this thing, the tank. So I'm more vulnerable than, than this is, like this thing can take a lot more shots than I can. So me sort of taking all the shots for it isn't really a thing. Well this area is really easy, it wasn't this area sorry, it was the next area. God damn it. It's going in front. Good job, you killed it. That's good. Nice so I think that's the only two there. Um, so the next area, at the end of it, the scarabs start shooting at that, and then there's like one more little bit that you've just got to go down, I think, down the tunnel bit, and then, then you're going to be reaching up to a wave point of waves and stuff. Um, 
With Bakuva, uh, Fuel Rod and stuff, it's just going to make that all so much more easier. And then she's got a rocket launch that I gave her. And the next guy, I can give him a Fuel Rod of mine. And that's going to help a lot. But I just need to take my time here. You're mine. I need to see everything because Fuel Rods are just pain. Look out, grenade! Ah, oh, that grenades. Not fun. Eyes up, boys. They're right in front of us. That's up, rookie. The tactics in trouble. Get out, brute. You little crap. I think that's everything. Well, I don't exactly know what the next part is, but um. I haven't set that off yet. Good. I'm gonna go kill everything. So nothing can stick to uh, sneak up, sneak up behind me. So I think that's all that. So I'm gonna. I've got full health which is awesome. This tank's so much more tough and when Buck's on it, it's invincible. I would actually like him in the machine gun turret, but I don't know, probably better having him on the side. With the fuel rod, probably does help a lot. I think this part's really nothing, I believe. The only thing you've really got to worry about is Scarab. I don't know if like, if that vehicle's very weak, which it shouldn't be, because it, it literally does recharge its shields. But I was thinking maybe if it was, if it was weak or something, the Scarab could maybe actually ma maybe manage to kill it, and that'd be really annoying if that was the Scarab, case. You can't exactly kill it, and you can't stop it, so... You can try. You could maybe shoot it in the face and blind it. Maybe the the, the, the eyes of it. Oh god, they can shoot at me. No, it didn't fix it. It's just scripted though, so it's not gonna attack you, I don't think. Scarab's like, I succeeded. Through the alien, what about you? It feels great. And then at the next you know that it survived. Hmm. Alright. I think this is really nothing. Just go down here, turn right, and you're at the last end of this mission, which I it's a big relief, but I could still screw something up big time, like very easily. Out of the vehicle, trooper! Hmm. Let's go! Seriously, I don't know if we can jump back in here, like, afterwards, like, jump into here and have this as cover, you know? Like, that'd be pretty nice. Because, uh, my, my favourite YouTuber, JP3, he stands here, and he, like, um, kills everything like that. The brutes, the first brutes and the jackals, I might actually use that tactic for jackals, because that would be quite nice, to, to be honest, killing all of the sniper jackals and stuff. But if you screw up... How is that not waking up? <laughs> this is how useless Buck is. He's just literally humping the freaking thing. Poor Grunt. Teabagging it. Gross. You're gross, Buck. You're absolutely gross. Um, wait. Who's the other... Who's the other, like, dude that helps us? I'm pretty sure there's three. There's... Buck her. Step on it. Yes, ma'am. Um. You got your rock launcher? Nope. Oh, okay, that's sort of pointless then. Hmm. Okay, thanks. Hostile Phantoms coming in. That's seriously pointless giving you a rocket launcher, isn't it? Um, I think though, there is a rocket launcher somewhere. Right there. For you. 
in general. And I'm gonna go up top. Ah, uh, fudge. I'm already too late, aren't I? I'm a little bit too late. I'm gonna... Get over there. They should really deal with a lot of this. Uh, oh god. That. I really wanted to run up top and uh... I really wanted to run up top and get the sniper rifle but that's not going to happen. I need you to help me. Same team. Shoot them. Hmm. for you, jackass. Next. Get ready. More of them. Is that all the brutes or not? I seriously don't know, but I need that sniper. I don't want to regret it though. Could also use a turret up here too. Um, that could be an option. But I sort of just want to go back where I was and kill all the jackals and stuff that way. I think this is going to be the safest option, staying in the side, protecting the thing that you have to protect. Oh god. I can see the turret looking at me. Scary. Very scary. But not the end of the world. I don't think. Until I die. I mean that is... Uh, the jackals do take one shot though from the sniper rifle. I just seriously feel like this is the safest option you could do. I might even give my fuel rod to her because Oh, there's hunters too, isn't there? Shot. Need that. Come on, we need you to go outside. And we need this thing and me inside, I think. To be understandable, but... Fudge. Any more rocket launchers anywhere at all? That'd be awesome. Um, I don't know if I should like run up top now that I've got sort of a good. I mean, I, I just I seriously feel pretty safe with my team here. I'm hoping and don't get an invincible brute that comes running at us. But again, the uh, guys with the jetpacks—they're not going to be too bad. There's a Wraith as well, which I'm scared of. I've seen my, my favorite YouTuber, JP3, he stayed up there, but I'm scared of that Wraith that would hit me and just, I'd fail the mission because of it. I don't really want that happening. There's, there's like two Wraiths that shoot, and they probably will because my luck at the moment's not the best. I've been trying this mission for a long time now. Bunch of hours of retrying over and over again. Okay, so they, they don't take exactly one headshot, they take just two shots, I think, anywhere anyway, but headshot doesn't exactly instantly kill them. 
but I'm more worried about that guy than anyone else. It's in cover. Come on. We need you outside. We need to help. We need to help Buck. Come on. really dark if you don't use that, I mean, night vision. Oh, yeah. Alright, well, I literally need to hit him one more time in the head and I think they actually got him. Alright, well that's that. Change my plans of what guns I'm using. I think my fuel rod might have despawned, so I'm gonna go use my favorite gun, everyone's favorite gun in Halo DST. Oh fuck! I thought I. I thought I killed you, or they killed you. You stupid brute. Uh, I'm not really going to be able to snipe a sni any sniper jackals that could be left. Oh, don't kill me. Come on. He's in cover. Flush him out. Okay, they got him. And now I'm, I'm going to be waiting for a... Phantom no, they're not dead. They're still a brute. Taking fire. Alright, checkpoint. You see a phantom coming. And that means that's the end of the mission. So that's pretty much ODST. Deathless, if I can manage to end up in this. I don't know if you have to get in the uh Phantom. They kill the race for you, which is awesome. The race are actually on the other side, so you can't actually kill them. Just they're just literally they free shotting it. Listen. At least they're not yeah. exactly, they're so not as bad as Halo Reach Wraiths, and um, they just know where you are at all times. They don't exactly do that. Well, the only sad thing that could possibly happen is I get Jackal Snipered, but I don't think that's going to happen. That thing's safe? Long as it don't get hit. Come on! Damn it! Move! Oh, nuts. Wouldn't you hate pulling a fat thing like that and then like just fighting back and not wanting to go in after you've just saved its life multiple say? times. Was a hell of a night. For like the whole mission, risking your whole life for it, and then it doesn't want to like sort of help you in a way. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe if you like my content and this was actually my first time passing OD of this this level on on, on like any difficulty because I didn't play it on easy or anything, so I just went straight into legendary on this level. It's a really hard one. I had to learn it. it. Took a lot a long time to learn. Like not really like really long, like two days around. But I'll see you all in the next video. My last video for this will be the um I'm gonna do all the um sort of street missions there's like a playlist we do all seven of those missions i'm going to try and do all seven missions deathless without like so if i die in like say i died in mission seven i've got to restart from mission one pretty much again on 
the street missions because they're not that hard in general. They're nowhere near as bad as this level. This level is a nightmare. But I'll see you all in the next video.